Let's uh, pray together. Lord, we do thank you for the journey that you are taking us through in the book of Corinthians. And we pray that as we hear your message today, that you would open up our hearts to hear your word and respond with faith and obedience. We thank you, Lord, that the secret wisdom of God from the beginning has been revealed to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We are aware that the message of the cross of Christ and his resurrection can appear foolish in the eyes of the world. But for us who are being saved, it is the power of God for salvation. We thank you that Jesus' love to us is a free gift of his grace, revealed to us through his word and spirit. Forgive us, Lord, when we take for granted your amazing grace to us in Jesus, and don't live each day in praise and obedience to you. We pray that you would help all people who have COVID-19 to get the medical help they need. We pray for the state of Victoria and other hot spots across our state for testing and adequate steps to be taken to prevent further spread of the virus. We also pray that you'd be with the medical our team, our doctors and nurses and those helping people with COVID. We pray for their safety and protection. And Lord, we do pray for a vaccine to be developed and to be available for all people to be free of this virus. And we pray, Lord, that you would keep us trusting you during this time. We pray for those who are working in offices, those who are working at home, those who are at home, those who are unemployed or struggling at this time. We pray wherever we're at, Lord, that you would help us to know that you are with us, to help us, to strengthen us, to renew our hope, love and faith in you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.